Hey guys, welcome back to Crochet and Ballet. Today we are going to make this easy breezy granny square blanket. We're going to start out with that little square and work our way out. And you can make this as big or as small as you want. So to start out with this little square, I'm going to show you what to do. Since I've already started on this blanket, I'm going to show you on a smaller piece and we will get started from there. Um, you can use any kind of yarn. I'm using a 6.5 millimeter hook and just some spare yarn that I have. I'm going to show you on this um, this kind of tan colored yarn, but my blanket that I'm actually making is just blues and yellows that I kind of had left over from other projects. So we're going to start out, we're going to make a slip knot. So um, there's several different ways to make a slip knot. This is how I make mine. And you're just going to slide your hook through there, tighten it up. And we are going to start out by chaining two, three, and then you're going to go back into that first chain and slip stitch. And that little circle that that makes is what you can do your granny square in. So I'm also going to show you another way uh, to do a magic circle, and you can do that if you would like as well. Um, so you can start it out that way with chaining and then using the circles. And then also you can make a magic circle. You've um, put the yarn around your fingers just like that and see how it makes an X. So it goes around two fingers from the back and then hold, I hold it with my pinky finger. Come through the bottom of the X there and then you're gonna grab the top corner and just pull that under and that's gonna make a circle, okay? And then you're just gonna go from there and put um, the stitches into that circle instead of a circle that you made with the chains. So we're going to go ahead and chain up three, and then we're going to do another double crochet right there. That counts as two double crochets. Chain one, yarn over, do two more double crochets. There's the second one. And then we're going to chain one, yarn over, go in and do another double crochet here. And I like to tighten it up a bit at that point and go ahead and do the second double crochet for that group. Chain one. And then we're going to have two more double crochets. And this has made your first square. We'll chain one and, and then attach it at, here at the end. So there's the second double crochet, chain one. And we're going to tighten up the yarn all the way. Just pull that string in the middle. And then we'll slip stitch it to the very first chain three. And that has made your first little square. And the chain one spaces are your corners right there. So there's four groups of two double crochets with a chain one in the middle. So for our second row, which we can go ahead and start from here, um, one way that we can do the corners is to start in, this is going to be the second half of that corner stitch. So we're going to chain three, yarn over and go into the chain space. And we're going to do another double crochet and that's going to be part of the next corner stitch. Okay, so there's our um, part of the corner stitch, and then we're just going to go right into the next stitch, no chain, go ahead and do another double crochet into these two stitches. Oh, I need a little more yarn. So another crochet, a double crochet in the top of that stitch, and then we are to the next corner. So in this corner space, we are going to do two double crochets. There's one, and two, and then we're going to um, chain one, two, three, yarn over, do two more double crochets into that same space. We're still working in that corner chain space. So there's two more double crochets. I've done one and my yarn is stuck again. So sorry, give me just a second. And Okay, sorry, here we go. So then we do um, the two on top of the two that were already there. So there's two stitches there and we're to the next corner. So at the next corner, we're gonna do the same as the first. We're gonna do two double crochets. There's one, two, and we're gonna chain three. 
one, two, and three. And then we're going to do two more double crochets into that chain space. So there's one and two, and that finishes our second corner. Now we've got two stitches um, to work into there. So um, before we get to the next corner, so make sure you get one, two double crochets, and then we're at the third corner. Okay, so then two double crochets, chain three, two double crochets all in this corner stitch. And these are obviously making the corners for the next row as well. So there's one and the last one for that. And then we've got two stitches to go into and then we'll be finish up the first corner that we did half of. So there's two and now see we've got the second part of that. So for this last corner we'll just need to do two double crochets, chain three, and then slip stitch to the first part of that corner that we already did at the beginning. For some reason my yarn, okay there we go, is not wanting to come out. Okay so there's one and here's two and then we're just going to go ahead and chain three and slip stitch into that first one there. Okay, then we're ready to start our next row. We've made our square bigger. And so really this is all you're gonna do for the whole blanket. So it's super simple. Um, in each corner, you're always gonna do two double crochets, um, two double crochets, I'm sorry, and then chain three and then two more double crochets. And you're just adding two, actually I guess you're adding four technically on each side every time you go around because you're adding two extras. So I'm going to start out with chaining three and then I'm going to go into that corner and we're going to go up and make our second half of the corner and we're going to go across and we're going to get every single stitch gets a half double crochet on top of it. So just every single stitch that you did in the row before we're going to do a half double crochet and we're going to do that till we get to the next corner. And every single corner, when we get to a corner, which are the, gonna be the big spaces obviously in the corner, we're gonna do two double crochets, chain three, two double crochets, all in that same corner space. And then we are going to continue on along the side and just do one in each. And we finish it off with a slip stitch and every single round is going to be exactly like this. And it will just continue to get larger and larger until you have the size blanket that you want. So I'm going to skip ahead till it's a little bit bigger. And we're going to take a look at where we're at. Okay, so I have a few rows done here. You can see my square has gotten bigger. And so you just keep going bigger and bigger till you get the size blanket that you want. And here is what mine um, has kind of turned out looking like with my yellows and blues. And I added a border, which I'm getting ready to show you how to do if you want to add a border. I think that that just kind of makes it look more finished and more like a complete done blanket. So it's just a really easy little stitch to make a border. So um, I'm going to show you on this of course our smaller piece since I already did the bigger blanket. So all you're going to do is these are going to be half double crochets which is just yarn over, go into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. So I'm going to chain up one to just start and you're going to go into that same stitch, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull through all of them. And then we're going to do two more into that same stitch. So you've got three half double crochets into the same stitch and we're going to skip a stitch and we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch and then we're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch we're going to do three into that stitch right there so there's one two oh, this yarn still doesn't want to come out and three we're going to skip a stitch slip stitch into the second stitch and then we're going to, and you can see it's making those little, uh, just little fans there or shell stitches or whatever you want to call them. Then we're going to go into the very next stitch and do three half double crochets. 
and then we're going to skip one stitch and slip stitch into the next yarn over go into the very next stitch and do three half double crochets and then we're going to slip stitch if you're at the chain space that's fine go ahead and slip stitch into the chain space and for every single corner is going to be exactly the same way we're going to do um, three half double crochets and then we're just going to slip stitch still into the chain space we're going to do three more half double crochets into that same chain space okay so go ahead and do three more half double crochets there's three and then we're going to skip a stitch and slip stitch into the next one and that brings you um, as you can see that brings you around your corner there and you can already see it looks way more finished like that and that just finishes it off it brought you around the corner we're going to go all along the side until we get to the next corner and we'll do um, three more half double crochets in that corner then you slip stitch three more half double crochets and then you're going to skip a stitch to finish that off and that is what you're going to do all the way around and when you're done you'll have a really pretty border on your blanket okay here we are with uh, two corners done and you're just going to finish that off that just shows you a little bit more about how it should be looking and of course you if you have a whole blanket done already which you should before you start the border then it will be um much bigger than that and so i hope you love this super simple tutorial about um, how to do a blanket if you would subscribe to our channel and like our videos we would greatly appreciate appreciate it thank you so much for